Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about how we got Stanley to in effect sleep through the night. I thought I would do a video on the process we used and just see if I can give any other mums some tips out there of basically how we've got Stanley to sleep through. So a bit of like background sort of information. Um, Stanley is now nine months old and he has probably been sleeping through from about, I'd say, five and a half months. Some people might want them to sleep through earlier than that, but this was when we decided to follow certain steps to, you know, get him to sleep through the night. Stanley was breastfed exclusively for the first five months. And then from, sort of just from five months, I started to introduce some formula in the day and sort of started just cutting down on the breastfeeds during the day. I also started gradually weaning Stanley at just from about five months just with a little bit of lunchtime food nothing major he wasn't showing like just signs of needing food or but I just thought you know he was coming up to the six month stage so I literally was starting to wean him so feed wise he was sort of combi feeding and he was starting on some solids so just to kind of fill you in on that side of it so that if anyone is thinking oh well I haven't started this or I haven't started that it's just purely our experience and this is what we did and the stages he was at when we started to like implement some of the things we did. That was what he was doing feeding wise. He was still in our room um, in the bed next to me and I was just, I just got to a stage where I thought, do you know what, he, he was still waking up in the night for a feed and I was still feeding him and then I just got to the point where I thought, do you know what, he's big enough and he's having enough food, like, you know, including his milk. Um, that he probably should be going through the night now. And I was like, he's big enough, you know, he's strong enough. I think because he knows that I'm next to him, it's more of a habit. And I think he was just waking up purely because he hears me and it disturbs him. He's like, oh, you know, a bit of comfort, I fancy a feed. So I think one of the first things we decided to do was move Stanley into his own room, which I've heard a lot of people say, you know, it, it does make a real difference because, you know, they don't hear you, they don't know you're there, etc. So that was one of the first things we did. Now, I, I also wanted to just get across that in his nursery, Stanley has been going in his cot ever since he was a newborn. So when we've sort of needed to change him or when we were like running his bath, he's always been placed in his cot. For me, like, he was always familiar with his cot. So... I was always hoping that it wouldn't be too much of a stressful procedure because going in there I was thinking well he's quite familiar in there so fingers crossed like when we do put him in he will be okay. We made the decision to move him in there overnight and he was fine there was no problems with like him settling in there we didn't have any problems at all and I was like oh we've, we've cracked this like you know we've, we've done it well hey um no we hadn't. He was in his own room and what I found now, what was happening, so he wasn't, because I, I thought, right, if he does wake up in the night, I'm just going to go in there, like, reset, res, resettle him, like, I'm not just going to feed him, because I thought, you know, he doesn't actually need the feed, so I thought I need to get past that kind of habit, and encourage him to sort of stay asleep as such. At this stage, Stanley was having a dummy to go to sleep. He never had one in the day, he just purely had it at night. I think it must have been some kind of comfort, and so he was always having one when he went to sleep. So now that he was in his own room, what I've now found is that he was waking up several times a night because this dummy has fallen out and he couldn't find it. So what was obviously previously happening was it was happening, but I, because he was next to me, it didn't seem like such a big deal and I was probably just popping it back in like almost in my sleep. Whereas now I'm having to get up, walk into his room and like nightmare. So I was waking up in the morning like more exhausted than I have been for the last few months and I, I felt like I was back to the newborn days and I was kind of going a bit insane thinking you know what like how am I how am I going to get out of this uh, cycle it is like a nightmare now I didn't really want Stanley to have a dummy in the first place but you know it was something that we did because he really wanted like he really liked it and you know it was comfort for him so I was you know, I wanted him to be happier rather than, you know, enforcing something that just because I didn't want it. I was sort of going sort of a bit crazy, you know, thinking, oh, you know, you know, 
how are we going to sort of get him out of this? It's almost worth putting him in his room. Like, no up and down so much in the night. So I was, like, researching the internet and, you know, on social media and trying to find out, you know, if other mums have had similar problems or, you know, any similar experiences. But I came across the Blissful Baby Expert. Um, this was written by a lady called Lisa Clegg, who is a mum of three and has been a nanny, like, all of, like, all of her adult life. And she's written a book on her experiences and just some advice on, it says everything you need to know for easy, happy parenting. Now, I'd never heard of this, but I'd just seen some people talking about it, raving about it. So I was like, oh God, I need to buy this book. So I ordered the book. And she talks about like various different problems or things that different mums have been experiencing. And her, it's her guidelines on how to like keep your baby happy as such. Now it's nothing to like, you should do this, you should do that, you know, don't do this, don't do this. It's not at all like that. It's like just a true account of a mum and what her advice basically. And she's just written a book about it. And yeah, I'm open to advice from anyone. So I ordered this book and I think Lisa works now as like a night nanny. So you can effectively employ her to come and do the night shift as such. I mean, that's the dream, yeah? Anyway. I didn't think I needed that quite yet. <laughs> you can actually email her with your problems and she will come back to you and you can have like discussions back and forth on things she would advise you to do and things maybe put into place. I thought, you know, if I can't sort of resolve this or know what to do, maybe I'd go down that route, but I didn't. So in the book, she talks about examples of problems mums are having and her advice on maybe how to overcome it and get through it. There I was flicking through the pages like a mad woman, um, you know, dummy, problem with the dummy, etc. Finding it, bingo, found it. The simplest advice from her was you need to go cold turkey with the dummy. And you know when I knew that was the answer deep down, but I was like, oh, how, how are we going to get through this? Because he's not going to like the situation. So she talks about many different techniques in here on how to like still comfort your baby and she recommends that they have some kind of comforter like a muslin or like a soft teddy of some sort because in effect that's what a dummy is you know that's what they use you for that is what babies crave so Stanley and I, I knew does like a bit of a muslin by his face so I was like right I'm gonna you know give him a muslin to hold in his cot and etc so that is what we did so there's no better time to try it in the present so I literally read read the example, read her feedback, and was like, we're doing it tonight. And that is what we did. And it it did take a few nights, like I'm not gonna lie. And he was, you know, quite unhappy for a few nights because obviously he was like, mm, hello, where's my dummy? But we just persevered and through different techniques that she talks about, you know, reassuring them that you're there, but then sort of leaving the room, then coming back, you know, over time, he gradually learned to self-settle himself and actually now he's found his thumb so he now sucks his thumb instead of a dummy which some people are against but I personally am much happier that he does this because he can find it himself he sort of learns to settle himself and he's a lot happier so I'm all happy I'm like I'm all for that I would say it probably took about maybe four to five nights of, of a bit of a and I found the problem was the going to sleep, like not so much him, you know, waking up in the night and me having to go in. It was more the getting off to sleep, which I think he was, that's why he was so used to, obviously, the dummy. I can hand on heart say now, Stanley goes to sleep at about 6.30 and he will stay asleep for till about 6.37. And I 100% put it down to like the techniques I've used in here and, you know, some of the steps that she has spoken about in this book. Obviously there's gonna be nights where he, you know, he might not feel well, like he's been teething. So I have been up there back, you know, because, he, you know, sometimes they're not machines at the end of the day and they're always not gonna be feeling like 100%. And sometimes I've gone up there and he's genuinely just wanted like a cuddle and I've actually got him out and I've lifted, like given him a cuddle and I've popped him back and he's gone back off, not a problem. My advice would be like, and like, by the way, I'm not an expert, I'm really not, but I like, follow my baby and 
I know when like something's not right and I know if like he's kind of you know testing or it's all about follow your intuition a bit like I knew deep down he needed to get rid of the dummy like we needed to get rid of that but I just needed like the confidence that this is the steps you can take and it will be okay and you will get through it and we did and it was the best thing we ever did and you know now I'd say like he's a fantastic sleeper and it it honestly like it makes you feel so much better if you're getting like that full night's sleep so if anyone is interested like her book is available online and it's just really interesting and a really good read so if any new mums are watching like I would definitely recommend sort of sort of buying this and having a read obviously you can't expect newborns to get into a sleep routine but I think you definitely can a bit further down the line before and the less habits they've got like the easier it will be to implement like a sleep routine as such I hope this video is helpful to some people out there if you've got any questions for me like please let me know in the comments below and I will just try and help with anything you know that I've done or any experiences I've had if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and I will speak to you all very soon bye